So today I'll show you how to take your slideshows from this to this in just a few minutes in Final Cut Pro X. Let's get started, shall we? After you have imported all your footage, go ahead and create a new project. Um, so, slideshow. Um, uh, pick your resolution frame rate, I'll stick to 1080p 24 frames per second. Um, go ahead and import all your photos into the timeline, you can use the shortcut E to do that. Uh, now go ahead and scale in every one of your photos so that it fills the frame perfectly. There you go, beautiful. Go ahead and do that. If you have a vertical photo like I have here, then also just scale it all the way in. You cannot leave any blank space on the screen. So, um, now go ahead into your, uh, into your effects and search for the photo recall effect and drag it into one of your clips. Um, so you're gonna have a bunch of settings here that you can play around with, but what we need to focus on is the scale effect, which we're gonna change just in in just a bit. So um, go ahead and press Command C, Command C on the clip right here, uh, uh, the one that has the photo recall effect. Select the rest of the clips and press Shift Command V. Now here we're pasting the effects that that clip has. So um, in this case, we only want to paste the photo recall effect, so get rid of the transform effect. There you go. Now every single photo has the photo recall effect. What we need to do now is um, change the scale so that the photo fits perfectly in the frame. There you go. If it's a vertical photo, then you'll probably have to scale out a bit. And these, these should be fine. All right, after you've done that, go ahead and add an adjustment layer to your timeline. Um, now, if you don't know what an adjustment layer is, then uh, I'll link a tutorial up there. You can go check it out. All right, so go ahead and search for the handheld effect, drag it onto your adjustment layer. And as you can see now, it looks like someone's holding a camera in front of our photos. You can play around with these settings. I'll just leave them at default. Then go ahead and search for the bokeh, bokeh random. There you go. Add this one to your adjustment layer as well. And as you can see, it creates like these bokeh kind of circle things now what i like to do here in the settings is to um make the size all the way so like make them make them super big um then i want the blur amount to be the maximum as well uh, and maybe bring down the opacity just there all right now go ahead and search for the artifacts yep this effect uh, and this will add a bunch of artifacts at like the edge of your screen. Uh, now here, I also like to drag the blur amount all the way and drag down the opacity and maybe change the color to something more cooler. Like let's use this torque. No, nope, that's way too much. Let's make it something like that. Yep, should be fine. Um, then go ahead and search for the highlights effect. Go ahead and drag that one onto your timeline as well. Um, so there you go. Um, and now the intensity, probably drag that one down. And I like to set it to warm so that it contrasts with the artifacts that we just did. And as you can see, we just have a bunch of stuff. We have a bunch of stuff floating around to make the slideshow more interesting. I actually think we should drag down the bokeh random because that bokeh is way too much. There you go. Perfect. Now to add a, a bit more interest to the slideshow, what you can do is you can keyframe the scale of um, the photo recall effect and the scale of the photo itself. And I'll show you what effect that has. So let's put a keyframe over here, go to the end of the clip and then uh, do the keyframe again. So make this, this scale, oh, you don't want it to go at the border. This one's smaller, but this one, we are gonna make it bigger. And as you can see, if we play it back, it kind of creates this dolly zoom effect in the background. That is also quite subtle, but you can do that with all of your photos if you so wish. And that should be it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. Bye.